video we're going to have a look at how to do a crouch start. Generally these are used by youngsters when they start in athletics, but can be used by athletes of all ages. Initially we need to work out which way round we're going to have our feet. Generally the foot that we like to kick a ball with will be our back foot and the other one, our stance foot, will be the front foot. Put the front foot just behind the line and measure back one and a half foot lengths. Once we have the front foot one and a half foot lengths back from the starting line, we then keep it where it is. We kneel down so that the other knee is side by side with the front foot with a small gap in between. Curl the back toe under on the back foot so that we get as many of our spikes into the track as possible. Place our hands just over shoulder width apart on the floor just behind the starting line, resting on our fingers. This creates a good starting position so that when we go into the set on the order of the starter, all we have to do is keep our arms upright and raise up until we get a right angle at the front knee. The placement of the back foot in a crouch start is slightly further forward than in a block start. This is because we need to make sure that we have the appropriate angles for the surface we're pushing against, with the block start clearly being on an incline. With the foot slightly further forward, i.e. with the toes and knee lined up, we get the optimal angle to push against the floor in order to start quickly. Here we have a few demonstrations of athletes running from blocks. They are only included to demonstrate some of the technical points we actually want to use when we're doing a crouch start as well. It is worth noting that in the on your marks and set position, we want to make sure that our head stays down and relaxed on our shoulders and that our back is straight. This allows for maximum force to be applied into the ground. A big arch in our back or sticking our head up to see where we are going will create tensions and weakness that will not help us to start as fast as we possibly can. When the starter fires his gun, we drive the arms hard and push against the floor with our legs. The idea in the first few strides is to push hard whilst gradually bringing our body upright. On each step we are looking for our foot to land behind our hips so that we are always pushing against something to drive our body forwards. After about three to four strides we should be in a full running action, even if we are still leaning forwards a bit. We will look at the mechanics of what we do in the first few steps in future videos. Thanks for watching. Please have a look at some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel to see our future ones. To find out more information about Momentum Sports, have a look at our website and social media pages found in the description below.